and the chief of air staff, Sadiq Abubakar, says his officers would keep to their mandate to end insurgency. He said this when he paid a condolence visit to Gakida town, Adamawa state, which was recently attacked by Boko Haram. Wolabi Adenusi compiled this report. A delegation of Chief of Air Staff, Air Marshal Sadiq Abubakar in Adamawa to commiserate with the government and people over the recent attack by insurgents on Garkida town. The delegation is led by the Nigerian Air Force Chief of Training and Operations, Air Vice Marshal James Gwani, in a closed-door security meeting with Governor Umaru Fintiri. The delegation is in Adamawa to console the government and people over the attack on Garkida on the directives of the Chief of Air Staff. It also brings assurances from the Air Force Command that it is committed to providing security in the state. Basically, we are here in Yola this morning on the instructions of the Chief of the Air Staff, Air Marshal Sadiq Baba Abubakar, who was supposed to have been here himself personally. But unfortunately, other pressing demands have made it impossible for him to be here. Accordingly, he directed me and a team of officers from the headquarters Nigerian Air Force to visit with the unit here on an operational visit. The Air Force expresses its commitment to protecting the nation's territorial integrity against Boko Haram terrorists. The people of Adama State over the unfortunate uh, incident that happened in Garkida and to also reassure His Excellency that the Nigerian Air Force will continue to work assiduously uh, in concert with other security agencies and stakeholders to ensure that we do the best that we can to continue to secure our people. The delegation includes Air Vice Marshal Ademola Drotoe, Air Commodore Ilemubola Abiola, Air Commodore Ibikuni Daramola, Air Commodore Muhammad Yusuf, and Air Commodore Chibweze Uankwo.